I realized last night that I'd done almost 200 videos, but I haven't really done a Q&A video. So that's what I'm doing today. So I've got a list of questions here that are frequently asked in the comments or in live streams, things like that. I thought I'd just go through these and give answers all in one place in one video. All right, the first question is, what is the worst thing I've ever cooked? This is hands down an extremely easy question to answer. Right after my wife and I were married, we were cooking. Neither of us were great cooks. And we're talking, this is 28 years ago. We bought a package of kielbasa at the grocery store. And inside the label, there was a recipe. We followed this recipe. We should not have followed this recipe. Or we followed it wrong. It was kielbasa covered in Parmesan cheese and other things. We ended up going to Taco Bell later that night. Was not a good scene. That was hands down the worst thing I've ever cooked. Where do you get your wood? I get this question asked so frequently. Uh, I get my wood from a place called the OC Woodshed here in Orange County, California. Uh, great supplier of wood. They've got just about anything you can want. They sell it in sticks. They sell it in chunks. Uh, you can get anything there. They also have other accessories and things. Um, they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. I just like going there. The people are good. The supply is good. So I get it at the OC Woodshed. What is my favorite thing to cook? I've been asked this question many times and I've answered it many times in videos, so I'm gonna answer it here just so everybody can know, tri-tip. Tri-tip is my favorite cut of meat to cook. It is very easy to get consistent results if you follow certain methods. Uh, my favorite way of cooking it is what I call the 110 sear method. I'll put a link to that up here. It is one of those cuts of meat that you can almost always get to be tender juicy, flavorful, as long as you just follow a few different steps. Now there are many ways to prepare it, but my favorite way is using that 110 sear method and I, I just love tri-tip. It's probably the thing I've cooked the most over the years. What barbecue type channels do you watch? I've been watching YouTube barbecue channels for a long time. Uh, probably the ones I watch most frequently and the ones I've watched that sort of got me into the idea of even making videos and things like that is uh, uh, Smoky Ribs Barbecue and Southern Cuisine, uh, T. Roy Cooks, Ballistic Barbecue, Cowboy Kent Rollins, Amo McClamum Smokers, Phil and Florence. Um, there are dozens and dozens of channels I watch, but those are the ones that you know I've been watching for a while and enjoying. There, some are big, some are small, and there's a lot of channels uh, that are smaller channels that I watch um, very frequently because I enjoy the content. What is your favorite wood? Uh, my favorite wood is hickory to use. I use it for predominantly pork and beef. I will use it on chicken. Uh, but I've also been using olive wood quite frequently recently. It's something I picked up this summer and tried, and I just love it, especially on beef. I'm hoping to try it on some lamb very soon, but it's just a really wonderful, earthy sort of flavor you get from it. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a writer. I've been a writer for 26 years. I've written books. I've written books that have become movies. I've written movies. Uh, so yeah, that's my day job, and I'll put you know a link down in the description below so you can check out some of the things I've written. Uh, but yeah, that's my day job, and YouTube is sort of my my side hustle right now. I'm really enjoying this. This is this is more fun than writing. Writing is a lot of work, and it takes a long time to get a finished product. Where making a video, you know, can do it in a day, and it's I love that sort of quicker process of getting some content out. What is your favorite barbecue or grilling accessory? I think most of you probably would know if you've been watching my videos that I love the Vortex. Uh, I got the Vortex a little over a year and a half ago, I think. And man, I use that thing all the time. I use it for super high heat cooking, especially of chicken searing. I'll use it to generate heat under cast iron pans on the Weber kettle. I've used it for indirect, for direct. It's just a very versatile piece of equipment. It doesn't do everything, but it does a lot of the things that I like to do, and it does it really well. 
And it's strange for something so simple, just, you know, some welded steel shaped like a cone. Uh, it's great, I, I love that thing. Do your cooks all go perfectly? No. <laughs> if you're making videos, uh, editing makes things look a lot better. I, I will often leave things in that go wrong. If you watched uh, some of my videos recently, you may have seen one where I left out an ingredient. And as I'm getting ready at the end to taste it, it's like, oh wait, yeah, I forgot that ingredient. <laughs> so I will occasionally leave in some things like that. Um, no, nothing ever goes, you know, perfect. When you're doing videos like this, you're trying to do the best presentation and you edit things so that, you know, the things you drop, you don't show unless you want to show them for, you know, just being funny sake. And occasionally I'll do that. But yeah, no, I would say probably 50% of every cook, there's some glitch or something, you know, you drop something, you forget something and have to redo something. Really making YouTube videos about cooking and barbecuing and things like that is a lot just like cooking in the kitchen or out in the backyard, except you have cameras pointed at you. If you made a mistake, you know, when you're doing it in the kitchen or something like that, you would just fix the mistake. So yeah, nothing ever goes perfectly. <laughs> Final question, what is AFS? Well, again, if you're a frequent viewer of my videos, uh, you may know that AFS refers to the way that I like my bacon. It stands for acceptable floppy state. I don't like crispy bacon. I will use crispy bacon if the recipe calls for that, but I much prefer there to be some bend in my bacon and you know just some juiciness. So yeah, acceptable floppy state. That's what AFS stands for. Bonus question, what's my guilty pleasure food? Chili dogs, especially chili dogs from Pink's in Los Angeles. Awesome.